Hey everyone, welcome to Free Handly Made AU My Autistic Life. My name is Nisi and this is to my channel. So welcome. I just wanted to make a quick video about my very first shawl that I've made ever. It is the Count My Blessing shawl. It was created and designed by OMG Granny Square, Miss Ursula. Um, I use Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. The color was called Grape. And this is it, y'all. It's big, so I'm not going to be able to fit the whole thing in the video. Here's the bottom where you can see the baubles. But here we go. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This was made for my mother. Now, the Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn was 100% acrylic. And it was a weight of three. Um, I used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and um, the pattern itself was super easy to follow. Matter of fact, she has a, tutor a tutorial that goes with the pattern. I only had to click on that tutorial three times and only to see her do a couple of stitches, the first couple of stitches, those all those three times in certain sections of this shawl. That's how good her pattern is. I didn't have to watch the whole thing. Um, anyway, but I did go back when I got done with this and I let that video run from beginning to end, including allowing all the ads run so that Miss Ursula would earn a little money off me watching <laughs> her video as a thank you for this pattern. Um, I got the pattern on sale for 50% off, and I believe it's still on sale for 50% off on her Ravelry account. Um, and I will include the link to this pattern um, in the description, as well as a link to her channel in the description. Um, I think the Count My Blessing shawl is a gorgeous shawl. I love the stitching in it, um, and I'm definitely making me another one. I'll probably make a couple more for family members. Um, now about the yarn, the Lion Brand Ice Cream yarn. Um, it felt weird to me to work with. It's not my favorite yarn, um, but I mean the yarn is, you know, pretty soft, but when I was working with it, it was just felt weird between my fingers. It had like this slight little grit feeling, but once you wash this and use a little softener and you lay it out flat to fly, out flat to dry, it softens up a lot. Um, so there is that if you're using an acrylic yarn. I'm definitely going to do this. The next shot I do with this, I'm doing it in a cotton blend 100% for sure. Um, but acrylic yarn is perfectly fine. So that's it. That's the Count My Blessings shawl, you guys. Um, now this video um, is going to be uploaded um, and it will... It's going to be available to watch a lot later than when I finished this. I finished this this week. Um, I finished it two days ago. Um, so two days ago, July 8th. July 7th or July 8th is when I finished this shawl. And by the time you guys see this video, it's going to be way past. Today's July 10th or July 11th. It'll be way past that by the time you see this video because... I'm not going to put this video viewable for the public until I know my mom has actually received it in the mail because it's a surprise for my mom. When I made this, I prayed over it as I made it. I prayed many blessings over this shawl for her. Um, so not only is it a count my blessings shawl, but it's a prayer shawl for my mother. So that's it, you guys. Easy, breezy, simple video. I'll talk to you guys later. I have a lot of projects in the works coming up, and I'll share what I'm what I'm up to and what I have planned on my next live, which will be July 20th. Until then, I'm recuperating with my surgery. I have my daughter here visiting from Florida. I have my uncle here visiting from Texas, and I'm enjoying family right now. So we'll see you guys sometime next week, okay? Have a great one. Always remember, Dare to be you, dare to be different. Love from Montana. Bye.